hi guys happy friday um or saturday whenever you're watching this it's late where i'm at so um uh, i apologize for there not being much of an intro but long story short we're going to be reacting to scp 049 uh the plague doctor by scp illustrated this was recommended to me by amy Lai. if you have any recommendations or any requests let me know down in the comments below I do have a list of requests forming, so please do stay patient with me as I try and get through a lot of these requests, and I try to take a lot of time to enjoy these, all right? Because that's what I want to do. I don't want to blaze through these like there's some required homework assignment, all right? I want to watch these, and I want to get something good out of them. I want to get a, I want to get a good reaction out of them, and I know you guys want that too. So I will enjoy this as much as I possibly can in my tired state. My tired state again probably gonna make this a friday night thing when i get home from work it'll be a late night thing because i like it i like reacting to these uh late at night but yeah anyways guys with that being said original link will be in the description below make sure you guys go check out scp illustrated that link will be in the description as well if you're ready i'm ready let's get this show on the road copa compliance and general content warning the hell i didn't even get to read all of it got to be kidding. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to SCP Illustrated, entry log 96. Today, okay. we're going to be taking a look at an old classic SCP, SCP-049. Now, everyone knows SCP-049, and it's an SCP that has garnered a lot of attention over the years. I have done a video on SCP-049 in the past. However, since then, the file has undergone a massive overhaul with new interviews and new content, so I've decided to have another look at it. Now, this is a Euclid-class SCP, and this video does contain scenes of surgery, dismemberment, experimentation, violence, and blood. Oh. Without further ado, let's I can't begin. wait for that. The doctor will see The following you now. data release has been authorized by the following council members and administration staff. Incident 049, 16th of April, 2017. Post-investigation report. It has been ascertained that the death of Dr. Ham was due to two primary factors. Dr. Ham did not activate the emergency alert system. It's negligence resulting in his failure to monitor the exchange via CCTV. Had you monitor the exchange as is standard protocol, it is certain that security teams would have been able to successfully intervene before SCP-049 killed Dr. Ham. Evidence from this investigation has been submitted to the appropriate party to be used in HF's court martial hearing. Dr. Ham's next of kin have been informed. Description SCP 049 is a humanoid entity roughly 1.9 meters in height, which bears the appearance of a medieval plague doctor. While SCP-049 appears to be wearing the thick robes and the ceramic mask indicative of that profession, the garments instead seem to have grown out of SCP-049's body over time oh, snap, and are now really? nearly indistinguishable from whatever form is beneath them. X-rays indicate that, despite this, SCP-049 does have a humanoid skeletal structure beneath its outer layer. SCP-049 is capable of speech in a variety of languages, though tends to prefer English or Medieval French. While SCP-049 is generally cordial Why and so cooperative specific? with Foundation staff, it can become especially irritated or at times outright aggressive if it feels that it is in the presence of what it calls the pestilence. Although the exact nature of this pestilence is currently unknown to Foundation researchers, it does seem to be an issue of immense concern to SCP-049. SCP-049 will become hostile with individuals it sees as being affected by the pestilence, often having to be restrained should it encounter such. If left unchecked, SCP-049 will generally attempt to kill any such individual. SCP-049 is capable of causing all biological functions of an organism to cease through direct skin contact. I thought that's it or How yes. this occurs is currently unknown, and all autopsies of SCP-049's victims have invariably been inconclusive. SCP-049 has expressed frustration or remorse after these killings, indicating that they have done little to kill the pestilence. They will usually seek to then perform a crude surgery on the corpse using the implements contained within a black doctor's bag it carries on its person at all times. While these surgeries are not always successful, 
Oh. They often result in the creation of well, instances of SCP-049-2. SCP-049-2 instances oh are reanimated corpses that have been operated on by SCP-049. These instances do not seem to retain any of their prior memories or mental functions, what having only basic motor actual... skills and response mechanisms. I'll... While these instances are generally inactive, moving very little and in a generally ambulatory fashion, they can become extremely aggressive if provoked, or if directed to by SCP-049. SCP-049-2 instances express active hell. biological functions, though these are vastly different from currently understood human physiology. Despite these alterations, SCP-049 often remarks that the subjects have been cured. Special Containment Procedures Huh. SCP-049 is contained within a standard secure humanoid containment cell in Research Sector 02 at Site-19. SCP-049 must be sedated before any attempts to transport it. During transport, SCP-049 must be secured within a Class 3 humanoid restriction harness, including a locking collar and extension restraints, and monitored by no fewer than two armed guards. Wow. While SCP-049 is generally like, cooperative with most foundation dangerous. personnel, this guy's like the real deal. outbursts or sudden changes in behavior are to be met with elevated force. Under no circumstances should any personnel come into direct contact with SCP-049 during I these outbursts. I would not touch that thing even In if the you event SCP-049 becomes bucks. aggressive, the application of lavender has been shown to produce a calming effect on the entity. Once calmed, SCP-049 generally becomes compliant and will return to containment with little resistance. In order to facilitate the ongoing containment of SCP-049, the entity is to be provided with the corpse of a recently deceased animal, typically a bovine or other large mammal, once every two weeks for study. Corpses that become instances of SCP-049-2 are to be removed from SCP-049's containment cell and incinerated. SCP-049 is no longer permitted to interact with human subjects, and requests for human subjects are to be denied. Oh, well, that's good. Temporary Containment Procedure Update Per Containment Committee Order 049 Sierra 1971, SCP-049 is no longer permitted to interact directly with any members of Foundation staff, nor is it to be provided with any additional corpses to be used in its surgeries. This order shall persist indefinitely, until such time a consensus regarding the ongoing containment of SCP-049 can be reached. Addendum 049-1 Discovery SCP-049 was discovered during the investigation of a series of unknown disappearances in the town in southern France. Oh during a raid on a local home, investigators found several instances of SCP-049-2 as well as SCP-049. While law enforcement personnel engaged the hostile 049-2 instances, SCP-049 was noted as watching the engagement and taking notes in its journal. After all of oh, the 049-2 instances were dispatched, SCP-049 willingly entered Foundation custody. The following interview was Would conducted by Dr. Raymond Ham during the initial investigation. Interview with Dr. Raymond Ham of Site 85. It's just a general question. Interviewing SCP-049. Want to enter custody? Like Alors, at all? Is that is that French? Can we get a translator? The King's English. No need for translation, sir. I can speak it well enough. Good. My name is Dr. Raymond Ham, and I am uh, a doctor, a like-minded individual, no doubt. Wherein is your speciality, sir? Cryptobiology. Why? <laughs> a medical man such as myself wanders abound. And here, I worried I had been abducted by common street thugs. This place, then, this is your laboratory. I had wondered, as clean as it is, and with such little trace of the pestilence here. The pestilence? What do you mean? The scourge. The great dying. Bro, I oh, like now, this guy's voice. You know the, it's very ominous. It's very mysterious. It? The, the, uh, sounds very no evil. The you know what I'm saying? Yes. It sounds very evil. It abounds outside I like it. Walls, you know? So many have succumbed. And many more will continue to. 
until such time as a perfect cure can be developed. Fortunately, I Sorry, I was just coughing and it said leans back in his like chair. I have to rid the world of it, you see. The cure to end all cures. When you Even for cancer? Dying, are you talking about the bubonic plague? I don't know what that is. Uh, I see. Right, well, the entities our agents encountered at the house, uh, they were dead when you encountered them. Yes, you reanimated them. Mm. In a manner of speaking, you see things too simply, Doctor. Expand your horizons. Life and death. Sickness and health. These are amateur terms for amateur positions. There is only one ailment that exists in the world of men, and that is the pestilence, and nothing else. Make no mistake, they were very ill. All of them. You think you cured those people? Indeed. My cure is most effective. But the things we recovered were not human. Yes, well, it is not a perfect cure, but that will come with time and further experimentation. I have spent a lifetime developing my methods, Dr. Han, and will spend a lifetime more, if necessary. Now, we have wasted too much time. There is work to do. I will require a laboratory of my own, one where I can continue my research unimpeded. And assistance, of course, though I can provide those on my own in time. <laughs> oh, I don't think our organization would be willing to. Nonsense. We are all men of science. Fetch your coat and show me to my quarters, Doctor. Our work begins now. Ooh. Interviewer's notes. While SCP-049 is capable of communicating in a very human way, there is a strange sense of unease that one experiences when in its presence. Make no mistake, there is something very uncanny about this entity indeed. Very, Additionally, very. Additionally, we've confiscated that pointed stick that SCP-049 keeps waving around. Part of this was due to standard confiscation protocols for the possession of anomalies, and part because 049 really is a menace swinging it around like he does. The entity was displeased at first, but after we made some concessions in providing it with test subjects, which are admittedly more minded. for the benefit of our own research, it warmed up to the idea. Addendum 049-2 Observation Log While in containment at Site-19, SCP-049 has spent a considerable amount of time studying and performing surgery on the various mammalian corpses it has been provided. SCP-049 will routinely spend several days performing surgery, and then, regardless of whether or not the corpse becomes an instance of SCP-049-2, spending several more days documenting its findings in a thick leather journal stored within its doctor's bag. SCP-049 will often seek to share its finding with members of Foundation staff. The following is a log of several occasions during which SCP-049 was observed operating on a mammalian corpse. Observational Log 049, Oscar Lima, one summary. Subject, SCP-049. Jeez, that is probably Preface. the most creepy one a of all. The test subject, D85123, was introduced into SCP-049's containment cell. The entity expressed sincere gratitude towards all members of the containment and research staff. Observation Notes. SCP-049 began by asking D85123 several standard medical questions as it began removing tools from its bag. Shortly after finishing its preparations, SCP-049 quickly closed the distance between the two, killing the subject with a touch to its throat. Afterwards, SCP-049 made a number of considerable alterations to the basic structure of the subject's corpse, often introducing fluids from within its bag into the subject by way of a hand-powered pump and copper tubing. The resulting 049-2 instance became animated, flailing and grasping at the walls of the chamber with a number of manufactured limbs while moaning out of an oblong orifice now present in its sternum. During this time, SCP-049 was observed taking notes of the instance in its journal and remarking to the watching research staff about the efficiency of its cure. Security personnel entered the chamber to move SCP-049 back to containment 
and were attacked by the instance. The security team dispatched the 049-2 instance, and SCP-049 returned to containment with no resistance, stating that it was pleased with the results. Observational Log 049, uh, Oscar Lima 2. Summary. Subject, SCP-049, preface. Oh he did all SCP-049 was provided the corpse of a recently deceased goat. SCP-049 expressed gratitude at the provision. Observational Notes. SCP-049 operated on the goat corpse for several days, eventually resulting oh. in an instance of SCP-049-2. That's disgusting. SCP-049 expressed pleasure in this outcome, though admitted, the disease was still in its nascent stage, my veterinarian practice is rudimentary, but the patient responded well to the procedure. Observational Log 049, Oscar Lima 3, Summary. Subject, SCP-049, Preface. SCP-049 like was provided the corpse like, of a recently eyes. deceased orangutan. SCP-049 expressed noted gratitude at the provision due to the similarities between the orangutan and common human physiology. Observation Notes SCP-049 spent several days operating on the orangutan, reanimating it several times. However, SCP-049 appeared to be discontent with the results it experienced, returning to the creature three times after its initial reanimation for additional work. After it was unable to reanimate the corpse a fifth time, SCP-049 turned the corpse over to Foundation staff for incineration, stating, I have learned so much from this, though I fear my early optimism was misplaced. I haven't yet come across such a, a stumbling block on my road to the cure. More subjects like this would do a great deal in advancing my research. Observational Log 049, Oscar Lima 7, Full. Subject, SCP-049, Preface. SCP-049 was provided the corpse of a recently Can't deceased bovine. SCP-049 expressed mild annoyance at the provision, though accepted it nonetheless. Observational Notes SCP-049 spent several days operating on the bovine corpse, breaking only to dine on a requested dinner of thin crackers, salted pork, and hard cheese. So is that a pig? Beginning first by embalming the corpse, SCP-049 was observed producing a number of long syringes from its bag, each containing a different dark viscous fluid. SCP-049 described these fluids as essences of the humors, and elaborated by saying the pestilence may bring about That's a systemic a imbalance. In such a case, a, before true healing can begin, dog? one must find the humors in balance or the body will reject the cure. Over the next few days, SCP-049 spent a considerable amount of time oh adjusting God, the wolf. organs of the bovine corpse with a number of large metal instruments. After eight days, SCP-049 uh. produced a lightning rod, which Dr. Ham exchanged for an electric cattle prod attached to an extension cord, and struck the corpse in several locations. This action seemingly had the effect of reanimating the bovine, which once again became ambulatory, despite the inversion of the head and reorientation of its limbs. Follow-up interview. Well, we've watched you work for uh, several weeks now, and honestly, I'm, I'm not sure I understand what you're doing. Could you describe your process in detail? Oh, goodness, now. The process is most intensive. As I said to your assistant, the best instruction you will find about my methods are here in my journals, as I have kept exhaustive records of my work there. Oh, I see. Well, my concern, Doctor, is that we still don't understand what you're seeking to cure, or how it manifests, or how turning these creatures into quasi-living, mindless drones helps in that effort. You do not understand the pestilence, even after all this time. Doctor, it is an unspeakable horror, one that has shown its true face many times before, and will again. I find myself blessed with the wisdom and good sense is needed to root it out and destroy it. But many, like yourself, cannot. It is a cruel judgment, I fear, to be at the mercy of a disease you cannot fully comprehend. Hmm. That still doesn't answer my question. How's your cure any kind of cure at all? It is a cure. 
You may laugh at my efforts if you please, but do not besmirch the good name of scientific progress that has developed. Yeah, I would not try to pick a fight with this guy. I would not ask me stupid questions is a like that. Better than any this creature could have hoped for. Stricken as it was with the pestilence, this creature is now clean, unable to spread the pestilence, and free from the terror it would have experienced otherwise. This is hardly a creature at all, Doctor. It's not even. Do not jape with me, sir. You and your colleagues are like so many others, unable to look past minor setbacks to see the salvation taking place before your very eyes. Do you wait to remove rotten timbers until the hall collapses on top of you? No. You find them and you pull them out and replace them with those untouched by rot. And most of all, you do not simply mock the structure because it now looks different to you. It is strong. It is free of disease. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to agitate you. I, I'm just trying to understand. Yes. Well, do mind your words in the future, Doctor. I am a professional, but even professionals may feel the bite of pride in dealing with criticism of their masterpiece. I will forgive this as an act of good faith between colleagues. Oh, good man. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that will be all. Another test subject on the usual schedule. You know my preference of subjects with more human anatomies. Attending researchers' notes. SCP-049 does seem to genuinely want to help other humans, though it has not yet been able to provide a concrete example of what exactly it is trying to save us all from. I have watched it now over several weeks, and while the outcomes do not seem to ever change, SCP-049 continues to claim that it is growing closer to its perfect cure. I think the entity may be more aware of the reality of these outcomes than it would like us to think. Addendum 0493, 16th of April, 2017 incident. Starting shortly after SCP-049's initial oh, containment, well, Dr. Old Ham people? conducted a number of interviews with the subject regarding its anomalous properties, and over time began to note its displeasure with its subjects and the SCP-049-2 instances. This continued for a period of several months, during which SCP-049 never exhibited any aggressive behaviours. On April the 16th, 2017, as Dr. Ham was entering SCP-049's test chamber to conduct another routine interview, the entity began to grow anxious and asked Dr. Ham if he was feeling well. Following protocol, Dr. Ham reminded SCP-049 that the interview was required, and after which the entity became hostile, and attacked Dr. Ham, killing him. Due to a lapse in security protocol and because Dr. Ham did not activate the in-chamber emergency system, Dr. Ham's corpse was not discovered until three hours later, by which point SCP-049 oh, had converted it no. into an instance of SCP-049-2. In the aftermath of this incident, SCP-049 was interviewed by Dr. Sherman. Why? Interviewer Dr. Damn. Sherman, Site-42. Interviewee SCP-049. I need you to explain yourself. SCP-049, you are being directed to explain your actions, and I will remind you that failure to cooperate will result in further restrictions during your containment. My actions do not need to be explained. You killed Raymond Ham, and then butchered him until not he- Not dead. No, not dead. Not dead. He is. He is cured. Cured? Cured of what? The pestilence. Pestilence, sir. I had thought you, at least, would realize what luck it is. I detected it before. What pestilence? You keep going on and on about this pestilence, but you have not once been able to properly identify this disease. What could you have possibly seen in him today that you had not seen so many times before? That it would be worth his life? He... The pestilence presents and progresses in unforeseeable fashions and has a queer way of, of creeping into the unprepared. And call it what you want, Doctor. It was a mercy I did to him. He is cured. He is a vegetable. Oh, God. I, 
I would not expect you to understand. You and your, your ilk have proven time and time again not to be men of science, but men of, of emotion. You cannot appreciate the horrors I have seen. Those many millions who have succumbed to the pestilence have been changed. Your cure cost Ray his life. No, good sir. I have saved it. You would allow this world to slip back into the, the despair of disease and death, ignoring that I have created a miracle. And what disease? What pestilence? He was a healthy man. He was a good doctor. I'm offering it freely to the afflicted. You are not worth this argument, sir. You are short-sighted and foolish. Dr. Ham was sick, and I... I cured him. I am the only one who can do this. Yeah, My you are the only one that continue. can do this. There is still so much to learn, so much I've had enough of this. And Consider your allowances be saved. Even you. Welcome to containment, 049. Might be saved. We're done here. I can save them all. I can cast down this plague once and for all. I can do this. Only me. I am. I saved him. I saved him. <sighs> Dr. Ham. I... I cured him. He was sick. I know he was sick. I know he was. And I... You are all sick. But I... I can save you. I can save all of you. Because I... I... am the cure. Addendum 0494. Post-incident report interview. The following interview is an excerpt from the 16th of April 2017-049 incident report. The interview was conducted by Dr. Elijah Itkin and took place three weeks after the start of the initial investigation. Interviewer Dr. Elijah Itkin, interviewee SCP-049. Alright. SCP-049, we are conducting this interview to close out our investigation of your actions taken on April 16th that resulted in the death of a staff member. Do you have any comments to make? Only that I look forward to the day when you will allow me to resume my work. I have spent the last few weeks compiling my notes and constructing a new theory for how the pestilence was able to infect someone in such an insidious manner that I nearly couldn't detect it. Have you experienced any remorse for your actions? For the death of Dr. Ham? Ah, yes. Well, the death of a colleague is always regrettable. But in the face of the pestilence, we must be swift, Doctor, and act without hesitation. Dr. Sherman noted in his report that you seemed to be mournful during your initial interview. Mourn? Perhaps. I had not thought that. It is lamentable that a fellow doctor became infected. But the work continues. Regrettable as, as it was, Dr. Ham's death provided important insight. Living human subjects are the only way to proceed forward, I am decided. My cure is of little use on dead flesh, and I have gleaned all I can from your generous supply well, of you corpses. You can't heal what's My dead, I mean... tending to those still living who suffer from the disease. I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> oh, doctor... I wouldn't be so sure. Yeah, I wouldn't bet against this guy. And so concludes SCP-049 The Plague Doctor. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Massive well done to the authors who rewrote the file. It looks amazing. Next time we're going to be going back to SCP-682. Now, I have not done an SCP-682 video since May. It's been a while. But a, a nice, juicy, bloody 682 video is just the ticket for the holiday season. That will be here ready for you on Christmas Day. Now, be sure to follow all the social media outlets for video updates. Check out the SCP Illustrated shop for prints and posters. All the links are below. And if you can't wait days and weeks for new content, then consider supporting the channel for early video access, exclusive sketches, see the sketches early, get Discord access, badges beside your comments, your name in all the videos, SCP requests, and so much more. And thank you to Dr. Weger, Alexander, Sanchez, 
Hithel, Exalted Galaxy, Dragon, Andy98, Jet E Boy, General's Alert, JT Walker, SCP-106A, Rick Trexon, Mori Pasta Pizza, and Sam B. Big thanks to Hunter Killer, Len Hox, Captain Core, Kibara, and Montgomery. And huge thanks to Dr. Viewless, Viger, Kamana, and Zanan. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all soon, and take care. It's interesting. Oh, wait. I like the shot where he's in the cloud. I think that's cool. Bro, like, that's weird. Okay, I think it just cut out. Anyways, um, I got nothing else to say other than I'm a little tired right now, but overall, this wasn't a bad video. It was interesting, it was uh, educational, it was insightful, you know, to what goes on with SCP-049, um, but yeah, I don't really have much of an outro for this, I don't really have too many thoughts in this video because my mind's just spinning, I have to wake up early again tomorrow morning to go to a track meet. Um, but I'm happy that I got to at least watch this. It was about half an hour long, but, you know, yeah, it is what it is. I liked it. It was it was good. It was good. It was informational. Uh, hopefully, I can get to more of these SCP reaction videos. I just got to get through some of these requests. And hopefully, I can start dedicating Friday nights to these SCP uploads or yeah, the SCP videos, but yeah, thank you to Amy Lai for uh, requesting this to me. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and make sure you click that notification bell to get all my latest news on all my latest content. And with that being said, this is G Excalibur 26 signing off.